Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Abby. If you're new here, hello. <laughs> Welcome. This is my second ever video, so it would mean the world if you could give a like, a comment, or subscribe, because that would really help out my channel and me. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers. That in a million years, thought I'd be hitting such milestones on YouTube, especially not this early on, so it really does just blow my mind, and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I thought, what better time than to get to know each other a bit more? So I did ask you guys to send me some questions over on Instagram. Got this massive tablet here with all the questions on, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to try and make this as exciting as possible, but be warned, I'm not a very interesting person. So we're going to kick it off strong. What? No, sorry. Uh, what was the first book series you remember reading? This is a very easy question for me to answer because I've not forgotten it. It was The Princess Diaries, all 10 books back to back. The blueprint for the person that I am today is The Princess Diaries. Michael being my first ever crush, ever fictional crush. I remember when I finished the series, I went down to my mum and I said, Mum, I'm never going to love a book any more than this, so what is the point in reading anything else? Obviously, I didn't stick to that. But still, the sentiment was there, and I refuse to watch the adaptation in case it disappoints me. Moving on. <laughs> Would you ever consider chopping your long, gorgeous hair into a bob cut? First of all, thank you very much for saying so. And second of all, no. So I had a bob cut when I was a lot younger, and I absolutely hated it. It did not suit me at all. My hair is too puffy. <laughs> I waited years and years for it to grow as long as it is now, and I recently cut a lot off, and I regretted it. But that isn't to say... I don't wish I could pull it off because I wish more than anything I could pull off short hair. I just don't. Do you prefer resand or rowan? Neither. I'm seeing a lot of questions asking my degree, so I'll just answer that generally. Uh, I study English at university. Currently, my second year, mostly what I'm reading when I'm at uni is course material. So for that reason, I kind of struggle when I'm at uni to have that kind of like balance in my reading or reading what I want to read rather than what I should be reading. Next question. I like this question. It says, have you listened to One Direction? I have. Still do. I went to see them live with my sister at the O2 Arena. I feel like at the time it would have been embarrassing, but now saying that, I sound, I sound really cool. Okay, this is a question I get a lot, and I actually don't know. Someone's asked, how many books do you own? I couldn't tell you. Like, even if I counted them on my shelf, there's still some up in the loft. There's some in my cupboard. There's some at uni. So honestly, I do not know how many books I own, but it's quite a few. Same for how many books I've read in my life, like I would never, never, ever be able to tell you that. Like I can only tell you from 2017, I kept like a log of all the books, but before then, no idea. I really like this question as well actually. It's, Who is the person that inspired you to do what you're doing now? That's also a really easy question to answer. That would be Sasha Alsberg, also known as Book Utopia on YouTube. I'd watch all her videos in the evenings, I'd be excited for her videos, and I remember thinking, wow, if I was to ever do something, I'd want to be living this, I'd want to be doing this for a living. Without watching Sasha and seeing how successful she became from booktube, I don't think I'd ever have the confidence to make a video talking about books. So thank you, Sasha. <laughs> Someone's asked, which do you read more of, YA or adult? So last year, the answer would have, without a doubt, been YA. But I feel like recently I've been reading a lot more adult and new adult books. Now that's not to say I don't enjoy YA and I don't read it, because I do. I'm more enjoying and reading a lot more adult and new adult books at the minute. But having said that, I do and I will always read and love YA. When's your birthday? 17th of August. Book and movie. My favourite movie, which I've watched countless times, never got bored of, is About Time. And my favourite book is The Song of Achilles. A lot of people are asking, do I have a hobby that isn't reading? And to put it plainly, no, I don't think I do have a hobby that isn't reading. So favourite classic book? My favourite classic book is Jane Eyre. Do you consider yourself an LGBTQ plus ally? Of course, and always. What's your favourite reading environment? So, I have to read in complete silence. Like, I get distracted by anything and everything. So, my favourite time to read is in the evenings, and my favourite place would just be in my bed. What's the first YA book you read? Good question. I don't know if the Morganville vampires are classed as YA, but they're definitely the more grown-up books that I started to read. Have you read much non-fiction? If so, what was your favourite? To answer that simply, no. But to read more non-fiction was one of my goals for 2021. And I've got a few on my list already that I really, really want to read this year. It's definitely something I'm aiming towards. Do you prefer dystopian, fantasy, or sci-fi? Um, gonna have to say fantasy. As much as I love the other two genres, fantasy is gonna take the crown for me. And probably always will. What do you miss most because of the pandemic? I miss being able to see my family and my friends. Yeah. What's your zodiac sign? I'll give you five seconds to guess. I'm a Leo. 
what was the first fandom you joined and when? So I was actually a member of a lot of fandom. I remember having an Instagram account for the Fifth Wave books. I remember having an Instagram account for Divergent before they were made into movies. The one that I did most successful was when I had an account for The Hunger Games back in the 2012. I've been a member of a lot of fandoms and I've had a lot of accounts. Would you ever get or do you have a tattoo? I don't have a tattoo at the minute but my friend is actually a tattoo artist so one day I'm planning on getting her to tattoo me. Don't know what it will be or where I will get it but I'm definitely planning on getting one and I do want one. Hardcover or paperback? Ooh. See I love having a hardback. I do love, I love both but I think paperbacks are much easier to read. The hardbacks look more aesthetic on the shelf so Either or, I don't really mind, but paperbacks are cheaper, so I'll probably go for that. What's a book series that most people love but you can't stand? I wouldn't go as far as to can't stand it, but I read The Lunar Chronicles, or I tried to, and I really couldn't get into it. I read the first book and half of the second book, and yeah, I just couldn't make myself read more. People have been saying like the third and fourth book are much better, but yeah, I just never got into it. Next question is a good one. What ending of a book do you wish you could rewrite? So a lot spring to mind. But the one that's really there is normal people because that hurt. So I'd rewrite it to make it less painful for me and for everyone else. What's your dream job and why do you want to do it? My dream, my pipe dream is to one day move to New Zealand and set up my own hostel business there and welcome other travellers. I fell in love with New Zealand when I went to visit myself in 2018 and yeah ever since then I've wanted to live there, I've wanted to make my business there, I've wanted it to be my home. Favourite Disney movie? So my favourite Disney movie is Without a Duck Tangled and it upsets me how much this movie is overshadowed by Frozen. I think it is severely underrated. Uh, the next question is, if you had to talk about one topic solidly for 10 minutes, what would it be? And I could probably talk about a lot of topics for 10 minutes solid, but currently my obsession is with Outlander. I'm in that obsessive phase of watching cast interviews, bloopers and behind the scenes on YouTube. So. Yeah, it's gonna have to be Outlander. I'm afraid that is all I'm gonna be able to answer because the storage on my phone is absolutely terrible and it keeps cutting off and having an absolute nightmare. But I've really enjoyed doing this. And please let me know what kind of content you wanna be seeing from me next, if that is any content at all. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and if you could leave a like or a comment or even subscribe to me, that would make my day. Thank you so much and I will see you for the next video. Bye.